My wife and I came to Ghana three months ago and our purpose was to assist Heritage Christian College in their path toward charter as a university. And we were very uh, pleased and honored to be invited because this is an African college. It's not a college that's been built by Americans someplace else because we do have colleges in other uh, countries in Africa, but this one is, is very unique. And that's why we were honored uh, to come here and be a part of this process. So we, were, uh, we interviewed a lot of people, a lot of the management, and two things that we noticed initially was how everyone had a common passion for the difference that a Christian college could make here in Ghana. And secondly, the competence of the leaders, all of the leaders in the, in the management who are very gifted, uh, have wonderful abilities to lead, and are taking the school step by step very quickly uh, to a new level and we are very impressed with what we see. Uh, I, you're, going to, you're going to get charter and I think God's really going to bless it. Yes, I do have a lot of experience with uh, Christian education. My mother and father went to Christian universities. My wife and I went. All My aunts and uncles all went to a Christian uh, university. My grandfather was not educated. He was, didn't even read and write. And he had three boys, two girls. They all went to Christian uh, universities. So we knew as part of our family how valuable Christian education was. And as a result of that, all my children, my three children have been to uh, Harding University where we went, where I worked for 32 years. And in two months, my daughter will be working in their nursing school, uh, teaching nursing at the same place. And her son is now at the university. So we have four generations uh, in uh, Christian education. What advice would I give to someone who is thinking about going to a Christian university like Heritage Christian? And I think you have to ask several questions to decide why you would want to go to a college or university. First of all, you want to gain knowledge, you want a diploma, you see this as a open door to other opportunities for your, your career. It, it gives you a foundation for that and you learn that. And you can gain that from a lot of schools. You have lots of choices, state schools, private schools, public schools, private schools, and so on. But the, no, the other questions you want to raise is, how will you change as a person? Because if you talk to any of the major corporate uh, executives and ask them how they hire somebody, how do they bring new people on, they're not going to ask what your grades were at the university. When they interview you, they want to know if you are a person that they can work with. It's, they're asking what kind of person you are. And that now is a question you want to raise. Are you going to a university where they care about you as a person? They're not only teaching you subjects, but they're teaching you as a student, as a person. And that is a strong value at every Christian university I know because there's a concern for the whole of life, the whole of the person, that as you study here, you're developing relationships with people that share common values. You have professors who share those same values and they're not only teaching you information and they're good, you have very qualified teachers here, but they also see you as a person and there's Christian values that shape how they view you and will want to make a difference in your life. The other thing is, where would you succeed the most as a person? And I realize expense is there, but there's more things to life than how much something costs. It's also what is the value of it? What is the value you gain from being at Heritage Christian, for example? What difference will that make? I, I would ask the question then, also as I'm looking and trying to decide where to study, is where 
would they be most interested in student success? How can I succeed? And I would not only ask, what classes do you offer? What are the um, subjects that I can study? Is your area of studies some that I'm interested in? I mean, those are good questions. But I'd also want to know, if I struggle, how would you help me succeed? If I excel in this area of subject, how can you connect me to the industry, to the business, to the, 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 the areas that I, I would like to expand on my career? How can I become an entrepreneur? If I want to start a business, how can you help me do this? And I think HCC provides that for the Center for uh, Personal Development, Career Development, the CEPE. And, I mean, all of this is designed to help the students succeed if you really want to succeed. So the question is, how do I want to change when I go to college? Not just how can I get a, a degree in the shortest amount of time and the cheapest way when it doesn't change my life and doesn't change my person as, as a, someone who is skilled in working with other people. As we came here, we assessed how uh, Heritage has grown and since 2013 specifically, and looking at a 10 and five, five and 10 year plan going forward. And I know the next five years is very critical. And given the progress that has been made, amazing progress, you can just see it in the buildings on campus, four or five new buildings in a short amount of time, as well as the addition of faculty and other things, this, I think this is going to be a very, very successful growing uh, university. There's everything that you would want in place for it to grow in five years is now in place. It's a matter of time and it takes a lot of work to grow where you are, but given where you have come with much little to see what you've done with a little bit, I can't imagine what you're gonna do with even more. So I'm very optimistic of the, the progress the school is going to, make, going to make. I would give three reasons why. One is you have a good president. This president has a vision and a passion for making a difference in the world. His background is a preacher. So he, he has a heart for what it means to live every day as a Christian. He doesn't just talk it, he lives it. Secondly, you have a very impressive provost who has a, his own personal journey is one from nothing to something that's extremely successful. And if you ask him, he says, I want to create the same opportunities for other students who, who were where I was. But he will tell you, it wasn't universities that opened the door, it was churches that changed his life to give him the connection so he could go to the university and he could develop and grow. So there is this connection between your own spiritual journey and your career that he understands and that's why it's a Christian university. That I think that's another reason. I, I think the third reason is what you're doing is different. And the more that people understand and see the, the purposes and the mission and the resources that are being brought together at HCC, you're going to have people wanting to come here. They're going to be seeking you out because they're going to see a difference in your graduates and they're going to say, and this has happened in Christian colleges I know in the U.S., when they go into some industry and they, they're pleased with them when they do their apprenticeships or their national service with them. And they say, there's something different about this. We've had three students from HCC. They're different than others. So we want all of ours in the future to come from HCC. You're going to hear that in five years. And the more you hear that, the more you're going to have people want to come here because of that reputation. I, I believe God will continue to bless you. He's blessed you at this point, and I think he'll bless you richly in the future. Be persistent. Continue to do the right thing and let God give the increase because it's a mission from God.